So we're starting with a basic sketch. And we're just going to paint and chat. Hello, dreamers. So today I'm going to talk a little bit about why I didn't do another adventure video, which I really wanted to do today. But, um, in order to do that, I would have had to push myself, even though I haven't been feeling well. So I thought I would talk just a little bit about my experience and kind of what goes on in my life. One of the things that I have not yet talked about on my channel is the fact that I deal with chronic illness. that chronic illness results in a lot of physical discomfort. I have chronic pain in just about every joint in my body and they hurt for a number of reasons. So some of my joints ache from the humidity and some of my joints ache for, um, because they sublux or partially dislocate from time to time. That happens a lot with my shoulders. Um, last night, in fact, um, I did not sleep very well because my shoulders, just from sleeping on my side, kept subluxing just from the weight of my body, which that's just never fun. Anyway, so, um, so some of my pain in, in my joints is from um, my joints subluxing or partially dislocating. That's some of the, some of the symptoms that I've been having. But also, um, one of the other things that happens is I have muscle spasms. And, um, when I say muscle spasms, I don't mean a tightened muscle. I mean a muscle that is so tight that it sprains itself under the pressure. Some of the discomfort that I feel is also from, um, I call them electrical storms. And that is literally just what it's, sounds like. Um, I have um, fibromyalgia. I was diagnosed um, with fibromyalgia about five years ago. And um, one of the things that happens to me is that my nerves send electrical currents up and down my limbs from time to time that don't correspond with an input that feels more like um, an electric fence. So an electrical livestock fence. I don't know if you've ever experienced an electrical livestock fence that is what I feel um, from time to time. And unfortunately for me, there is no rhyme or reason as to when it happens. It just happens. Anyway, so as I was saying, um, these electrical currents, I've been having them quite often um, recently. And um, because they're so uncomfortable, it's made, well, daily life very uncomfortable. 
and the last couple of days I have been feeling a lot more of the electrical currents than I would like. I um, went to the emergency department, um, oh, I want to say five or six weeks ago, um, with a sprained back, and my back was sprained from just life being stressful. What's been happening recently is um, those spasms have begun again and um, they've been pretty severe. I'm fairly certain that I have sprains in multiple places again pretty certain. Last time they said I had at least three. Um, this past week my shoulders have been so tight it feels like my head is going to fall off my body and now I know that isn't possible. I know that. Um, that does not stop my brain from completely panicking. <clears throat> so um, I spend a lot of time, a lot of energy this past week reassuring my mind that I am not going to lose my head, that it is still going to stay attached to my body. The shoulders are so tight in here that these muscles no longer feel like muscles. They feel like bone and when doctors examine me they are always so incredibly surprised at how tight they are um, because well because they're not supposed to be that tight <laughs> but one of the questions that I get asked a lot especially at the doctor's office is how long have I been experiencing pain and honestly forever. Always. I've never experienced life without pain. My earliest memories of when my body hurt. My earliest memory of this occurring was when I was around three. And I f remember mentioning it and saying that I was hurting. I mean, it, I couldn't explain the hurting. I just knew that I was hurting. I remember exp saying that I was hurting, that I was in pain and being told that I was exaggerating. I barely have the words now to explain the kind of pain that I had back then. I experienced muscle aches from hardly any activity at all. I had headaches, body aches, so much pain that I couldn't explain. I didn't have words for it. And the words that I did have, they didn't work because I was not believed. Just the fact that I was young and constantly talking about being in pain, I'm sure they just assumed that it was all in my head. And after a while, I started to believe it was all in my head. Chronic pain, chronic illness. Um, for as long as I can remember. My entire existence has had pain. I don't say it to look for sympathy or pity. 
I say it because it has forced me to make some changes to how I operate day to day. <laughs> it's made some changes to how I manage my channel, how I manage my free time, how I Well, do everything. I've had to find ways to protect myself because of the fact that with chronic illness, especially one that is a little unpredictable, I can't always know when it's going to give me a hard time or I never know when I'm going to have a, a major flare-up, and they can be pretty severe. This past week has been a really significant flare-up for me. And no matter what I try to do, I just have to kind of go with the flow. So this past week has been a little a little more about taking care of myself and not pushing too hard. Which for me is well, it's always a possibility. I have a tendency to push myself just a little too hard. I've never known any different. And so because I've always just kind of found a way to deal with the pain and the, and the spasms and all that stuff, I typically just push right through it without thinking. So I've been trying to take it a little bit easier on myself this weekend, which is why I did not do an adventure video. I still went on an adventure with my sister. We still make sure to get out and do stuff together, even when I don't feel well. But I did not feel up to trying to push through. just wasn't up for it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, continue to dream.